Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about the Cheap China Craft Air Horn. My personal review on it. Make sure you stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to give you guys my honest review on the Cheap China Craft Air Horn. I did a YouTube video very close to about three years ago on my channel. You guys have probably seen it. As a matter of fact, there's probably a lot of you that have watched that video and subscribed to my channel. So this is gonna be very fitting. Check it out everybody, I just got an air horn. Okay, there it is. You can see it through the grill. So right here, this will be a 17 millimeter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect it here instead of on my battery. I'll pull that through. Okay, it's all wired up, let's test it out. That video was all done on an install video on this same exact horn that I'm holding in my hand right now. In all fairness, before I start anything, this horn right here was sent to me by a company called Adu, which I'm pretty sure are from China, okay? Which is fine. Adu has sent me all kinds of stuff like jump packs, you know, I've done a lot of videos for their company, that's totally fine. I mean, they sent me this cheap horn right here to do an install video on it in a review, that was it. I just thought it'd be cool to put something loud behind my grill and see how long it'll last. Well, three months later, the thing took a dump on me. It doesn't work anymore. I'll go ahead and just simulate it for you so you guys can hear this. That's what I heard every time I hit the horn, so. I mean, I wasn't surprised. It's under 40 bucks. It's a cheap air horn. We get it. It's electric. It's 12 volt system. It's, there's a little compressor to it. You hit the button, you know, it shoots air right through the horn and that's it. I mean, the construction itself overall is horrible. It, it, it literally, it bent right here. It just bowed right there. I, I can probably fold this just with my own strength. I mean, there's a, look at that, it's it's cheap, man. You get what you pay for. But if you guys are buying it to be serious, just stop, okay, don't. Don't put it behind your grill and think this thing is gonna be as loud as, for example, a Horn Blasters product. Those guys, if you've ever heard of them, are probably second to none in the industry when it comes to air horns, you know what I mean? So has, there's no comparison. But there's a reason why I'm making this YouTube video here. Well, of course, I'm telling you, don't buy these cheap crap air horns because they suck and they don't last long and they're from China and they're definitely useless. But the other thing, that company, Adu, that sent it to me has all rights. They can absolutely use that same YouTube video that I posted and they can use it for their own advertising reasons because they sent me that air horn. That's totally fine. But this is where it gets a little annoying. What happened here is one day I was scrolling through Instagram and boom, I saw an ad with my freckly arm right in it installing this thing on another company's website basically is what was going on. Now this is just one of the ads that I'm talking about. There's hundreds of these ads, but here, here we go. I mean, seriously, does that really sound like the horn that I have behind the grill of my truck? No way. Not even close. Essentially what happened is they chopped up my video and they made it look like I installed their air horn, which it was, it was a completely different company. They made it look like I installed their air horn on my truck and I went and drove around and I blasted it at everybody. It literally sounded like something that came off of a locomotive, like an actual train. Total false advertisement is all that is. And I'm exposing those companies on my channel right now. If you guys have seen those, which a lot of you guys have because I have been getting numerous DMs, direct messages, even my Facebook. A lot of you guys reaching out to me. You guys are saying, hey, did you notice that they're using your videos for their advertising reasons? And I already knew it. And you guys, and I appreciate that, you know, for, for sending me those, those links. That, that was really helpful. But it's kind of annoying that these folks are making a bunch of money off of my YouTube video. And that YouTube video, I mean, literally, I, I believe that was my second highest viewed video. So it kind of makes sense that they probably went through YouTube and found a bunch of air horn videos, took a bunch of other people's stuff as well, pieced them all together, and then made it look like they're the ones that did it. As a matter of fact, this is where it really gets interesting. Horn Blasters, the name itself, what some China crap 
company did is they literally made their ad and they made they named their company Horn Blasters. It was <laughs> it was really interesting. Real Horn Blasters in Florida, those guys actually contacted me through my Instagram and they said, "Hey, look, we're, we apologize for any sort of like misinformation, but that wasn't us." I definitely knew it wasn't them. It, it's kind of interesting how all that works out. There's look, there's no way that I would ever try to take legal action. There's, there's no reason for any of this. I'm just telling you guys my side of the story. I had a little thought in my mind here. I just, I don't know. My mind goes a million miles a minute. I thought it would be kind of interesting. So what I did with my own money is I bought an, an air horn, okay, off of eBay, a cheap little crappy air horn. Not the same one, of course. It's actually in route, so I don't have it right now. And then I purchased a digital sound level meter. I get that I'm legitimately going to hook it up to a 12 volt system. I'm gonna honk it get the sound reading on this little machine right here. And then I wanna get something a little more upgraded from these right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm definitely gonna do a versus battle. So I'm gonna do something with a lot better quality versus one of these little cheap China crap ones. And then of course, I'm gonna show you guys the construction because literally these things can fold. I can basically bend this thing. Uh, I may have some other plans for this one though, we'll see. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a massive air horn system on my Duramax, massive. It's gonna happen soon. Probably not in the next week, but it's going to happen extremely soon. So look out for that YouTube video. I don't have it yet. Still doing my research. You guys know how I do things, man. Like when there's certain things that I wanna go for, and it's definitely gonna be an American company, I go for like the best quality stuff out there in the market. You guys know that. Talking a lot with horn blasters though, and I'm just trying to get some more information from them. And I'm talking like air compressor in the back, like an air tank and like an, an air hose hookup, like no joke, like that can feed airbags and massive horns. Like, now the new horn that I purchased on eBay, when that thing comes here, of course, I'm going to get the sound. Uh, I'm going to measure it with the sound, you know, which I already know it's going to fail. It's not going to be as loud as most people think. But the other thing is when I'm done with the horn, Dude, I'm gonna put so much voltage through this thing to the point where it's going to explode. I'm hoping it explodes. I'm hoping something crazy happens, but we'll see. I don't know. Well, maybe we can make a show out of it, but I'm probably gonna hook up like three car batteries to this thing. We'll see. You guys, again, leave in the comments below. Tell me what I should do with this electric horn when I receive it. So anyways, it's gonna get real. <laughs> you guys follow the build. I do appreciate all your guys' support and then before I close out the video, I know a lot of you guys have purchased decals, key tags, uh, bleeder screws for your fuel filter housings. There's a bunch of stuff on there, t-shirts, whatever. But if you have and you've put a sticker on the back of your window or a key tag on your keys, a Duramax life or truck life or something like that, if you guys can send me those pictures, especially the decals on the back of your windows, take a picture of your truck. You guys can send it to me on my email or you can also direct message me on my Instagram, which is at truck underscore master07. And I want to add those pictures to my either my intro or my outro on my YouTube videos. It's kind of a cool way that we can sort of connect. I do appreciate all your guys' support. I, I mean, I can't thank you guys enough for that. So hit that notification bell. Don't miss the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching the channel. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care.